Hi everyone, hope you're fine. Today we are looking at the Denon DJ Prime 4. So it's a brand new uh, standalone unit from Denon DJ. You can mix up to four deck in the same time with one USB key. Of course, you can um, manage your uh, playlist directly from Engine Prime and drop it directly into your USB thumb and put it on the device and mix with it or you can also directly analyze the track uh, into your USB drive without Engine Prime and manage it directly you can um, make some playlists etc directly into the device so little refresh to show you how to manage your track playlist directly from en Engine Prime first and we will see after the unit. So Engine Prime, the first step is to format your USB thumb. When it's done, you check Engine Prime on your computer and you're directly in the collection part. You see I have my USB key here, there is nothing inside. So collection part, you can directly put your um, track on this part but it's not very necessary you see if I do that it will be in the collection part but you can directly put in your uh, playlist part uh, for example test you see I check this sound here in test and I have my eight sound here my eight tracks but first before doing all this Stuff, you have to check one thing if your um, previous library if you use iTunes or Serato or Tractor check if you have this on 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 because you see here there is for example the logo of Tractor here and when I check that you see there is no Tractor here so check that and you will have your Tractor your crate of Serato and iTunes and you can have your playlist directly here and go here. After when it's done with my playlist, I have just to take it, put it on my USB key here. You see it's copying. I have my 8 track and after I have just to um, eject my key with engine and not with my computer. Very, be careful of that, eject with this little logo here. And like you see um, on the screen, you are. Um, it's not obligated to make your playlist directly on Engine Prime. You can do it directly on your uh, Prime 4 because you can also make playlists and analyze track and make playlists directly on the Prime 4. It's a standalone 4 deck unit. So when it's done with my USB sound, I have to plug it directly into my uh, USB uh, port. So we will see after in the connection, but you have a lot of um, USB connection, etc. You can also put a hard drive directly into your unit. So it's very, very powerful. Very, a lot of device uh, can be uh, connected. So when I put my USB key, you have, you see your crate, your playlist, your folder, uh, even um, a search button so you can search uh, every track, every album, every um, person directly into your artist, into your USB key. You can also um, search for um, tag, if you put tag in the comment of each track, like maybe for example plus plus when you have favorite track and you can uh, discover all those tracks directly into your screen. So I can go to my playlist and after I will check the track I want. So I can directly put with the screen my track on the deck I want. So I have just to um, put this one like this. And after I choose my deck one, two, four, uh, three or four, like that. Or I can put maybe, uh, for example, this track and put here with the load button on the right. So it's for deck one, deck four, uh, deck two. I can put it for deck three and can put it for deck four if I want. And if I don't want to use four deck, you can easily in the utility mode put that the deck three and four are off if you want. It's just an example. You see, I have no deck three, no deck four. But you will see 
during this video it's very powerful to use with for deck because there is some options very comfortable for that so my track is loaded and i can put like that so i have on my library everything i need to search my track to put my track i can of course put the same track with a double aston double you see if i take this track here i'm playing this track i push twice load like that and I have the same track. Yeah. Instant double. And to finish with the navigation, um, you have a zone output here. It's very great because when you're uh, playing on deck 1, 2, a 3, you can put the deck 4 directly into the zone output. This zone output can be the same as the master output if I don't push this button. But if I push this button, you see, I have this message and I have just to put my library like that, send to zone, push play button, and this place will go directly on my zone output. It's very, very cool. So I put pause, and disengage zone output. Of course, if this zone output is not open, is not on, it will be another uh, output for my um, my diffusion, if I want. I can put the master for the first uh, room, the um, booth output for a little room with um, something, and a zone output for me, if I want, like a booth output or something like that. I have free output if I want, free XLR output. And to finish with the navigation, you can easily pinch your waveform like that to have a little or big waveform. It's very comfortable, very cool uh, stuff. So it's the navigation. After we will uh, see the um, table of the mixer part. So you have a gain control on each channel. You can have a EQ control like that, bass, mid, high. You can have the EQ control like kill mode. You see nothing in the speaker. Or you can directly in the um, configuration uh, say that this attenuation is normal. So you will have little thing, little feedback after the, um, I will go to isolate. You have a sweep FX. The sweep FX allow you to put this, those FX here directly in the channel. So filter. You can manage the filter if you want. Like that. Um, bleed. So you will hear something. Or kill. You will have nothing in the side of the filter. echo it's a little echo you have a lot of parameter like that but when when you cut it will be very very little so it's post fader and post cross fader if you choose those little switch here and this is a bigger uh, echo named uh, wash you see, it's very long if you put in the side of your knob here. And noise effects. You can put a noise with another channel, like that. And directly in the um, configuration, you can put more gain or less gain for your noise sweep. After you will have your PFL or your crew control, I prefer say PFL for post fader um, listening. You can choose what um, channel you want to hear. You have your little Q master section here to uh, if you want to um, listen less master or more master or more Q, um, less Q in your 
Head from section and the level and split mode if you want the master on the left, for example, and the Q, the PFL section on the right. You can also directly into the configuration, you will see, uh, put a Q solo mode. So Q solo mode allow you to choose only one PFL section. You see, I can't choose two of, uh, of them, J just one. If you want some person like this after you will have the fader the faders and the crossfaders the fader don't have a curve control but you can have a curve control and a fader start directly on the crossfader so let's see the normal curve the bigger one and it's a rotary control so you can put like that And after the fader start control, so it's not a fader start, it's a cross fader start. And you can put directly on here or like that. And I put on off. And it's done. You have your little switch here, allow you to choose if your channel go to goes to the left or the right of the crossfader so left cut on right and right cut on left and if you want to put on through there is no uh, modification and it's done for this part and for the end it's a very um, I don't know how to say the funny or beautiful part the FX part is very cool because you have each uh, configuration each uh, parameter of the FX directly on one screen. You have the decay or something like that, the frequency, the dry wet, the, um, the beat of the FX. Every screen is a parameter, so it's very cool. And you have just to push the um, FX part here or FX part here, one or two. So I have my track like that. I put one. I put on and I put the volume, the die weight. So it spots fader. And post cross fade. So you have a lot of FX and that is good cool is when you arrive at the end of the um, the last the, the last FX you go directly on the first FX you see I go to the last one and this scratch and I put one and you go to reverb so you don't need to uh, back forward etc on the FX you have just to turn and you can go to the FX one etc so reverb you have an echo if you want so each FX is post fader and post cross fader so you can choose your feedback little feedback see little or big feedback very big etc etc the frequency you can choose if you are in the low frequency mid frequency all of that high frequency you see you listen to the low frequency for the track but vfx is in the high frequency mid high So it's very cool. After delay, the delay is very cool because you can put the delay directly when you up the dry wet like that. Or you can put it directly on 100% and put on off. It's very cool. After all echo, oop, excuse me, this one.
after the ping pong. After Autogate. After the flanger, but you will see with a flanger, it's always like that. If you have the old track, the old composition of the track, you will have something very bad, like probably like that. You, see, you will see what I mean. It's not very good, but if you put a lot of beats on your FX and you wait for a less composed um, track, you will see it's very cool. Etc. Yeah. Filter LFO. Phaser. It's like flanger if you put a lot of things like that. It's not good, but if you put a high frequency and um, a track in this position, for example, it will be cool. After beat crush. After roll, so it's little loop for your track. For example, one beat. After reverse roll, break beat, beat break, so you can have a lot of part end like that. etc. And finally, one of my favorite, the scratch parts. It's not lit, it's not very a uh, scratch mode, but it will allow you, you, allow you like the reverse roll to make a reverse FX, but during the track. So uh, it's not a loop reverse, it's a reverse uh, always on the track, like that. So with the voice etc you could make some uh, pretty little things 
and after you arrive directly in the river. So it was the FX part. Um, let's see if I don't forget anything. So for the volume, you will have your master out here, booth out, zone out. You can also record your own mix directly with a long push here on view record. You record your track, your mix like that. You do your thing. You stop the music. You stop here, save as you save directly into USB key. It's done, you have your mix. And uh, what about, ah yes, the mic, I will show you the mic um, configuration. So you have two mic input, we will see after the connection, in directly in the connection. You will have your on, off here, level, um, equalization, low, mid, high, um, two echo for each uh, one, and you have a talk over here. Um, with Dinon DJ, you have always a lot of configuration with the mic on their mixer part. So mixer part is done. Let's go to the day part. So you have four deck, one, three here, two, four here. Like I said, you can on the deck four put directly in one place and use it for the zone output. So you can mix one, two, three for your master output and the four deck with a playlist on zone output. Let's talk about the transform part. So you have your play, of course, pause, cue position. You have the starter mode, allow you to make a sort of out cue. You have sync mode, allow you to match two tempo or four tempo if you want, with a master tempo in free slave tempo. You have your shift button, allow you to make a lot of things like search, uh, uh, sync off, erase, uh, how to reset a bit grid, etc. We will see after. You have your jump mode, skip mode, jump mode, allow you to have a four mode. You see, if I go here, I put jump, I am in four bit later. So four bit jump, backward for forward, skip search with a shift button you can search like that you can search like that and you can search directly on your screen sensor allow you to make a reverse but the um, music still play underneath you can make a real reverse with a shift button Clip mode allow you to make manipulation that the track is playing directly. For an example, I will put this clap here and this kick here and go to the quantize mode uh, like that. So kick, kick with the clap so I can recall it. and we sleep well. You can also make a loop if you want and when you will release the loop you will have your track directly in the same place. Vinyl mode allow you to have without the bending on the uh, core and the platter, no scratch. And with vinyl mode, you will have your bending on the crawl, but scratch directly on the platter. Um, the loop mode allow you to uh, make an auto loop. We'll see there is an auto loop here and an auto loop here. First, this one. So you choose your beat here or here, and you push with the button. You can decrease and increase your loop like that. You see, up to 64 beats and 132. And you can move your loop right on left with a shift button. You see, I am in the loop. Cool. 
I am not, and the loop is here. And I am in the loop. I can make a manual loop with in, out. In, out. After, if you realize when you're playing your music or when you're um, putting your music directly on the deck that your beat grid is not very conform, very uh, contained directly, you can um, move it. We will see here. You see in the waveform here, you see my beat grid here. You can edit grid with a long push here. And you see, I can move like that my grid. I can reset if you make a mistake like that. You can stop it, shift, reset, and you have the same grid as your uh, engine uh, prime uh, software. You can uh, multiply, uh, divide, decrease or increase um, your uh, bit grid if the grid is not very straight like that on the bit. But you can't um, decrease or increase the length between two bits. Just move on the left, and move on the right, divide by two or multiply by two. It's for the bit grid adjustment. Um, and of course, your pitch uh, control, there is a large, large pitch. You can have for um, the percentage here, you can have up to 4, 8, 10, here 20, 50, and 100. You have, um, I don't know in English the word. Um, but you have 0 0.01 for the 4 and 8. You see here. We'll see like that. Up. You have 0 0.01 for the percentage. And this will change for 10, etc. With 10 on 20, you will have 0 0 2. First, the pitch bend here can be done like a pitch bend if you want, like the jog here. Or you can change for the range value, you see, in utility. Uh, le pitch, le pitch, 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 where it is, though it's not here, it's print friends. Uh, pitch, 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 where it is. I've seen... Yes, pitch control type. You can put range, so it will be a range, or you can pitch bend, and you will have your pitch, your pitch bend. The pitch uh, can be used with or without the key lock. Key lock, it's a thumb stretch. Time stretch, time stretch allow you to move the tempo of your track without touching the key of your track. You see, when you have not that, you will have this kind of situation. And when you touch the key lock, you have the original key that you have at 0%. And with this pitch, you can sync the key of your track with another track. You see the tempo, the key. If I want another track like uh, this one here on the deck 2 in 120 BPM, 2A for the key, I have the other track here, 97 BPM and 7A for the key, I have just to play this track, sync, this track sync, I have the same tempo, like that, yeah. and for the key, I have just to push key sync here, I have 2A. And it's done. And at the end, let's see the pad. So you have hot cues, loop, audio loop, roll, and two slicer mode. So hot cue allow you to make little point directly into your track. You have up to eight point. Uh, you can put uh, put it. If you want to put um, hot cue, you have just to push it. You can do it with the quantize or not like that so you can move with your slip mode 
and to erase it, you have just to push Shift and the button, the Hold Q. After the loop mode, you have first mode, the in and out, in and out like that. You can release your loop and call it. Or release it here. And erase with shift button. The second loop mode is an auto loop. You can have 4 bit, 2 bit, 1 bit, half a bit, 8 bit, 16 and 32. Put it. and release it. After roll function, allow you to make a little loop and like the slip mode, your tracks still play underneath. etc. And after the slicer. So one push is for the slicer with 8 bit and the next 8 bit and the next 8 bit. And it's the same for the slicer loops, but you have the same 8 bit loop like that. And you can decrease and increase this little loop here. And it's done for the slicer, for the pad, for the pitch, for the loop. Everything is done. Let's go to the connections. So on the front you will have your headphone output. Uh, 6 quarter f uh, 3.5 your switch to um, choose if you want the USB part of the line phono part every channel the um, curve adjustment adjust for the crossfire and fader start so in the front well let me have some time to put the because the unit is very uh, heavy on the back of the unit you will have your power supply another USB port here because you have two USB port here plus SD card plus USB port here you can easily put a keyboard if you want or here you have a little port if you want to charge your uh, phone if you want the USB port for Serato for the future certification your link port RG, uh, RG45 for like DMX zone output in XLR both output in XLR, master out in XLR with uh, LCA output. You have all your inputs here with phono line for the line uh, for the channel three and channel four, and of course your two uh, combo jack uh, sixth quarter XLR for your input for your mic input, and it will take little time. But on the back of unit unit here, you will have your slot for your hard drive if you want to connect an hard drive directly here so it was the Denon DJ Prime 4 the stand the 4 DX stand alone first 4 DX stand alone unit from Denon DJ thank you for watching this video if you need any information if you have any questions feel free to ask under the video um, thank you for watching this one and see you next content bye bye take care everyone ciao